Hi, I'm Bob James. I'm the Transformation Director for Lloyd's of London, and my job is to help digitize the Lloyd's marketplace with a data-first mentality. Bob, good to meet you. Just how big is Lloyd's? Well, it's 27% of London's GDP, so that's pretty big. It started in a coffee house. The marketplace is definitively the largest insurance marketplace in the world. It writes about 40 billion pounds of gross written premium, which would be premium that the customer pays to purchase their insurance. It employs nearly 48,000 people. And in some ways, the business model hasn't actually changed since the coffee house and that it's largely a face-to-face -face marketplace where people come together to exchange risk. Could you give me a sense of how the technology has evolved over the past few years and what your priorities are moving forward? We can make it real complex, but it's actually quite simple, which is, can we get the marketplace to use a, a common set of data? Can you move that common set of data through digital pipes so that it can move electronically from one party to the other without having to have paper handed off? And then because you have digital data that is common in its uh, structure, can you then validate that data and pass it through to the processing systems for downstream processing to actually place the insurance uh, electronically from a premium and a claims perspective without a lot of human intervention? And if you were to boil the entire sort of core of the transformation that we're involved in, it is to try to deliver the promise of that. The roadmap that if you were to go out on Lloyds.com and look at it is really broken across two segments open market placement, which is somebody, a big shipping company needs to place their insurance and they come into the Lloyd's marketplace through a broker and say, help me provide uh, coverage for my ships, my liability, my cargo, et cetera. And then the second piece of the business, which is about 40% of our business, is when a uh, insurer uh, delegates their underwriting authority to a third party to bring business in. We call it delegated authority business. And so we have three work streams, one around how do we move that data electronically for open market? How do we move it for our delegated business? And then once we have uh, this common set of data, what kind of capabilities can we have that we don't have today in areas like claims? So if you have a fulsome set of data and it's commonly understood what it is, then things that you might think are simple, like someone's had a claim, we need to verify that they have coverage and who the insurers are that have provided those coverage become much easier. The last piece, which is really actually important because it underpins the whole data first journey is we are also in conjunction with DXC, replatforming a 40 year old mainframe based system that had served the market for a long period of time, but it was mainframe, it was old, it wasn't very resilient, uh, and it was hard to change. That is being replatformed both from a premium and a claims perspective in a cloud environment. How is this transformation journey going to change how the market operates? The real untapped potential, particularly in large commercial risks or commercial specialty insurance, is the ability to take a look at the data patterns and ask What's it telling you in terms of either coverage gaps, pricing decisions that you might want to make, or other capabilities that you provide to your customers? And if you were to contrast our marketplace, which is large commercial specialty risks, to the consumer insurance space, so say for motor insurance or auto insurance in the U.S., those carriers have been using data analytics for a long period of time to improve customer service, provide more granular pricing, and get a better financial result. How does DXC fit into this digital transformation? Well, first of all, if you look at the history of DXC, it's got a lot of insurance heritage. It's got 110,000, give or take, uh, technology people that are focused on this. And they are primarily the sole provider to the London marketplace and have served it for a long time. And importantly, they're a 50% shareholder in the joint venture. So while they not only provide the technology expertise to the joint venture, their shareholder ownership makes sure that their interests are aligned in serving the marketplace.